text, and I will set my face against that man, and will cut him off from among his people, because he hath given of his seed unto mulch, to defile my sanctuary, and to profane my holy name. Leviticus 20, 3, Commentary, verse 3. And I will set my face against that man. Express resentment, anger, wrath, and indignation at him, see Psalm 34, 16. And will cut him off from among his people, that is, supposing him to have been guilty of the above horrid crime, and there being not sufficient evidence given of it by witnesses, or the magistrates negligent in doing their duty, and the matter being known to God the omniscient, he, according this declaration, would deal with him himself, and cut him off out of the land of the living, from among his relations, friends, and neighbors, by his own immediate hand, otherwise the law before provided a penalty, which is death by stoning, whereby he would be effectually cut off from his people, and deprived of all natural, civil, and religious privileges in this life, and sent into everlasting punishment in another, unless forgiving grace should be vouchsafed. Because he hath given of his seed to mulch, an iniquity to be punished by the judge, and deserving of everlasting wrath and destruction. To defile my sanctuary, not by doing this horrid action in it, but by coming into it, having done it, or by offering sacrifice in another place than where God had commanded, as well as such a sacrifice as was abominable to him, sacrifice being to be offered nowhere but on the altar of the Lord in the sanctuary. Jarki interprets this of the congregation of Israel, which was sanctified to the Lord, in the midst of which this wickedness was committed, and with which they were polluted. And to profane my holy name, by sacrificing to an idol, when sacrifice should be offered to God, and such a sacrifice as would cause the name of God, and his holy laws, and true religion, to be blasphemed and evil, spoken of among the Gentiles, Romans 2, 23, 24.